to my favorite bunch of beauties welcome back to the channel and welcome to monday morning makeup number 38 i am going to be using this fall magic palette today finally it is not actually in my basket for this week it was in my basket for last week but i didn't get to use it and i am tired of saying i didn't get to use it so i'm going to use it in this video today and today i'm actually going to be um talking about something that is pumpkin spice no i'm going to be talking about something that is near and dear to my heart and that is um redefining beauty in your 50s or redefining beauty in your own terms we have a lot of life lessons a lot of life lessons that go along with these fine lines and wrinkles that we have so i want to get into it and i also would like for you all to comment at the end of this video and let me know what you all think about the what it means to redefine beauty on your own terms as well so i am going to zoom in and we are going to get started all right so i am zoomed in and i will not be putting any primer on because i just put on my moisturizer and i think that will do a good enough job for me as far as priming my um face for my makeup I am going to start with my eyebrows as I normally do and we are going to get started with this I think this is as far as I'm going to zoom in hopefully my face is close enough to you but I'm going to start off with talking about body positivity so I mean we all know that in your 50s your well shit starting in your 30s excuse the language your body starts to go through heck of changes i feel like all of my crap started when i turned it turned 30 years old but um now it's kind of ramping up and to high speed you i can't lose weight like i um used to be able to lose weight um even taking ozempic i am losing weight a lot slower than some other people and that's okay because I feel like I'm still on the right track as far as weight loss um, of course we get our fine lines and wrinkles um, we start to get like changes just in general you get that little pudge that you don't know what to do with just different things change with your body but I am getting close to and I say getting close to because some things still bother the heck out of me. Like, I feel like my hair is thinning and stuff like that. But um, I'm just going to embrace the changes that are going on with me and with my body. The things that I need to medically do something about, I am going to do something about it. Otherwise, it's like they say, what you see is what you get. So I am just going to love me for who I am, flaws and all. And I'm just going to kind of put that out into the universe. Like I'm just going to want to be secure in who I am. And like Dion say, says, self-love and self-acceptance. So that's what um, I am going to be concentrating on as well. For some reason, I feel like this pencil keeps wanting to skip that one spot okay and eyebrows are definitely sisters and not twins that's another thing that these brow hairs have gone rogue as i have gotten older if you are still having a full set of eyebrows i applaud you because mine are disappearing um, I am going to prime my eyelids and I'm going to pull out something that I have not pulled out in a while and that is the by Mario master eye prep and set in deep and it looks like this and I need to go ahead and use this up so I am going to grab let's grab is this a concealer brush? I don't know what that is. 
Um, let's grab this brush. This is a conceit. Well, this is it says a dense primer brush from BH Cosmetics. So we are going to prime our eyes and then set with the powder that's right here. And I've had this for a while, so it is feeling a little bit stiffer than it used to, and I don't want to waste it. Because I was so happy to find something after Urban Decay broke my heart. Alright, and then it's the next thing that I want to talk about is media representation. Um, I feel like on some level we have made some strides into not making us look like little old ladies. But somehow I still feel like they think of us like they used to think of the women on Dynasty in the 80s. Um, <laughs> and ageism is a real thing. I feel like sometimes even, and I am going to say it, even with going for um, trying to work with brands, um, I have had brands tell me that I was not what they were looking for and then you look at their ads and you see this is the Sonia G Detail Pro. I'm going to set my um, leads with that. You look at their ads and you see that they are full of younger women and I want to even tell you some of the um, brands that promote anti-aging stuff have younger women in their ads. But what we need to do is widen the spectrum from, I don't want to say 8 to 80, but everybody deserves to be recognized. Everybody deserves the same chance, for lack of a better way to say it, without sounding bitter, that you give younger influencers the people that you are trying to target are people our age. Um, so yeah, I think they need to like why and, and, and trust me, I will give credit where credit is due. Some brands are having more older um, influencers. They're having more plus size influencers. They're having more women of color or people of color. But I think as being a older woman of color, that puts me at a bit of a disadvantage still. Um, it's getting better, but I still think that we need to put our voices out there. We have not crawled into our little rocking chairs to watch our daily stories. We have not done that. We are still on social media, on YouTube, still using makeup, still buying your makeup. So we need better representation. That's it and that's all I am coming off my soapbox. I am going to pick up this Fall Magic palette and I'll show it to you one more time. And I am going to go in with the shade Spiced, which is here is my transition shade. So let me just grab a brush and get started and then the next thing I want to talk about um, also is related to the first thing I was talking about I, I feel like I kind of covered two things at one time but ageism um, a lot of people need to educate their sales on um, ageism and how how like people in their 50s are so much different than people were in their 50s when I was a kid. We are very vibrant and I feel like I'm going back on my soapbox so and I really don't want to go back onto my soapbox but ageism is really really harmful. It can affect your mental health when you feel like you're being singled out because you are older or you're not being given opportunities because you're, because you're older and it affects your it affects your mental health and your self-esteem so yeah we just need some, some little education about how to treat people 
with respect regardless of what their age is. And I'm just going to leave that right there. And we're going to move on to, uh-uh, I need to do this. I need to bring my mirror up and look forward. I feel like I can't see. Yeah, now I can see it. Looking down and doing eyeshadow in your crease is not a good thing when you have eyelids that want to start traveling south. Because then when you look back up, you can't see your shadow. I think I can see it a little more now. Not that I'm putting a whole heck of a lot. But always look forward and just keep your eyes naturally open. And get that color right there so you can see it. Alright, so we are going to move on. And I... I'm going to go into, what shade do I want to use? I think I'm going to go into the shade Snug. Do I want to go into? Mm. Okay, let's go into the shade Bonfire, which is right here. And I am just going to kind of put that on the lid and a little bit up into the crease this has a little bit of a sparkle to it and then the next thing that I want to talk about um, of course here we go with um, self-love and self-care again and let me just put this out there please watch Dion's channel um Dion loves makeup because her whole channel is based on self-love and self-care and not doing things because you think you have to think doing because you want to um that's what her channel is all about but um just show yourself some self-love some compassion and just um, do things for yourself. Keep yourself maintained, like your physical, your mental health, exercise, things like that. I'm going to take this same brush, and I don't have anything to wipe it off with, but I don't think I have to. I'm going to go into the shade Snug, which is here, and just put that like on the very outside here. Yeah, just be mindful. Like my mother used to, my mother used to tell us as when we were kids to be careful with with each other as sisters. But I am going to say, be careful with yourself. And that's that is that for that. I'm gonna have to bring that other color in a little bit further because this snug is taking up. This is super pigmented, and it is taking up the um. color that I just put down so let me grab oh I might as well just flip the brush over it yikes no mm -mm, we need to get another one I have two of them so well who we'll use this this is the Morphe M167 brush and I'm going to go back into the shade bonfire and bring it a little bit further this way For whatever reason I can't I can't concentrate and talk at the same time but <laughs> all right now I am gonna take I just had that brush in my hand yeah this one um, I'm gonna take actually the shade autumn and go into that inner third of my eye and then we're gonna do some blending um, and the next thing I want to do want to talk about is like connecting with women or yeah, women in my case but women or people of your so your own age 
and don't form a support group i mean that sounds crazy to say form a support group but it, it kind of in a way is a support group i mean just go out i mean you can discuss the things that bother you but it doesn't have to be go and have a good time with people your own age pretty much <laughs> um yeah share your experiences with each other Go have a cup of tea. Go have lunch. Just be friends. Just surround yourselves with like light mind like minded folks. I am going to be blending. Right up in here and over because I feel like blending is definitely needed. I am not putting anything else on the brush. I just need to blend this out because this went rogue on me. But yeah, just that, just just like um, network with people who are your own age, who you can have a good time with. That'll build your self esteem. Go talk about the young folk like they talk about us, calling us boomers and stuff. <laughs> Alright, I am just going to clean this up just a bit and then I'm going to come away from the eye and put my face makeup on. Um, and then the next thing I want to say, I feel like I'm blending all my topics into one because when I was talking about ageism, I was also talking about inclusivity and stuff in media, but inclusivity also at the same time in the beauty community. Um, I still feel like the beauty community is not catering to the needs of, I don't have my, we'll use this. I am going to, I am going to pray that this works. I am using this elf stay all night setting mist just to wet my brush. No, I'm not. Give me one second. Right. So I don't want to make a mistake because I am using where's my brush um a foundation that is new to me and this is the doll 10 doll skin genius serum tint with reishi mushrooms and FYI yesterday was national mushroom day <laughs> but anyway um let me slide that here for a second out of my way and I am going to spray my brush But yeah, um, the beauty community, like I was saying before, we will pray that this color is good because it is looking a little dark on the back of my hand. I have it in the shade. What shade is this? Deep. Um, they're even targeting anti-aging stuff towards younger women and not using... Um, more mature women in their ads which I feel like for one is false advertisement but it's also making it seem like once you turn a certain age you just kind of disappear which is unfortunate because we are buying a lot of their products mainly because we looking at these young girls and thinking that we're going to get the same results that they get which is impossible um but yeah, I think that we just need more representation in the beauty community, whether it be as influencers or in mass media. We just need more recognition. Not that I'm gonna go out there and beg because I'm I'm tired. I'm 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 tired. Of saying the same thing over and over again. I'm going to put another layer of this on. But. That's what my channel. Is just basically about. Positivity. For. The more mature woman. And. Letting you know. That. We can survive and thrive. 
at 50 plus, at 40 plus, because it seems like maybe 30 is the magic cutoff. I don't know. But I don't want to go down the negative road, so we're going to move on. And then the next thing that I want to talk about is just um, celebrating your individuality and your authenticity and emphasizing that beauty is not for just the young. Beauty is for everybody. Beauty over age. Um, and also to kind of, I want to say, put people in the mindset of getting rid of those stereotypes of what a more mature woman is. Most of us don't even look like our age. So how are you going to say how we supposed to act? All right. So foundation is done. So I am going to try this. So I don't have that auric um, sort of illuminator that um, Lock had Lock made in here on YouTube. She was using the Auric, the Auric Illuminizer or Illuminizer and she used it to sort of brighten up under her eyes. What I do have is these um, Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wands and this one is in Oral Aur Auroral and I'm going to try this one and see if it works. So this has a wand on it. And I am just going to apply it just like I would apply my concealer. Maybe a little bit more than I would do. This has a little sponge tip on it. Let's try it. I really don't like using these little sponge tips on these things. But it's like the perfect size to get up under your eye. And yeah, she put too much, but I'm going to put some powder on, so. And then it came out. Okay. Was I supposed to take that out? Was I supposed to take this out? I don't think so. All right, now that I have made a mess, let's try to clean this up. I am going to take my foundation brush and just kind of blend this part in right here. Just kind of pat this in a bit. Mm -hmm. I can still see a little bit of darkness. So I am going to take just a dot of... Just a dot of my Shape Tape Concealer and just use my foundation brush and tap it in. It does give me a glow for sure up under my eyes, but I was still, I don't know if you could see it on the um, screen, but I could see it in my mirror down here. Now this is better. That's better. Yeah, we like that. So we'll just sit this right here. I am going to be using, hey, I have to um, confess that I bought something. I mean, it is after October the 1st, but I, I had said that I was going to wait because I, I wanted my 20% off, but I, I went on the Hourglass website anyway, and I got this. So it's a snake palette. But it is in the um, owl packaging. So I am going to use this. I am going to use, and we'll use a relatively small brush here. Let's see. I am going to use, um, yeah, this is a blush brush. It's actually a putty blush brush, but I'm going to use it for the, um, this is the finishing powder and radiant light. So I'm going to just put that under my eyes just to set up under my eyes. Okay. 
you'll take it okay that's nice and I am going to take I need let's see we are going to use the mini base mini base brush and I am going to use this shade here and this is the shade solar bronze and you know I'm gonna see how that works as a bronzer I already know I like radiant light because I used to have the full size of it but I haven't used this bronzer yet so let's see I feel like it has like a hint of red. Okay, and let's just kind of bronze these little jowls here. Um, so I am going to take, so I think there's three blushes, Coral Haze, Sunbeam, and Mystic Flush. So Coral Haze is the one right here. And then this one is Mystic Flush. And then this one is Sunbeam. Um... Let's go with Sunbeam because it has a little bit of a um, sort of highlighty effect to it. And let's see. And I was on a um, Zoom call this past week with a brand called Boom by Cindy Joseph. And their um, brand is, is like pro-age makeup, but, you know, makeup for more mature skin. And, you know, just pretty much accepting, which is why I like, I like brands like that. Accepting beauty at all ages, pretty much. So pro-age. And they were talking about blush placement. So a lot of us smile and put stuff on the apples of our cheeks. But when you stop smiling, your blush is down here and you want it up here. So just put your blush, you can smile, but put it on the tops of the apples and not like right here. Put it on the tops of the apple, like right up under pretty much the eye socket. And this is if you are a more mature, like I don't expect you to be like 30 years old putting your blush all the way up here, but your face tends to kind of come down a little bit or your skin starts to like do its own thing so put your blush on the top of the apple and not right there on the center of the apple and also bring it back like to what my mother always taught us to like swoop our found our blush towards the hairline right there so that's how i've always done it but that's what they're saying all right, and I am going to take a fluffy brush, and this is the Sephora number 50 powder brush or pro powder brush, and I'm just going to powder my face, and this is the LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder, and does this have a shade? Independent or tan, so I'm just going to Set my face. Okay, and moving on with what I was talking about because I completely forgot. Um, the next thing I want to talk about is to consider being a mentor. If like this is this is what I am trying to do. Just be like a person who champions 
aging and somebody who can be used as a resource to people who are like going through things and oh uh, i don't know if this is me going through menopause and my perimenopausal i do it at work all the time um but also help people to grow in their knowledge of aging their acceptance of aging the alternative is definitely worse um so just embrace yourself at the age you are and celebrate what you have achieved in your life and what you may want to get into going forward like you may have interest that you never had a chance to pursue before but maybe you're retired and instead of just saying, eh, I'm retired, I'm going to travel, pursue some interests that you may have been interested in when you were younger. I don't know where I stopped. My camera stopped and I don't know why. Um, but I am going back into the palette and I am going to go into the shade Bonfire. And I'm just going to go up under here. And this is a Give Me Glow brush, but it is really flat, so it is good for going and doing shadow up under the lower lash line. It's also good because it's so flat, I would think for like cream products on your eyelids or for applying your primer to your eyelid. All right, and I'm also going to go into the shade Cozy here and just try to kind of blow that out a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to go, sorry, I'm going to go into one of my eyeliners. And I'm, no, 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 I don't want to use it. Let's use, let's go into this box of eyeliners that I have from Mally and see what I want to use. Let's see. Uh, what color is this one? This one is walnut. Graphite. I think I'm actually going to use something green. That is weird, but I'm going to use something green. Um, and this is the shade, they call it Deep Space. No, Deep, girl, learn how to read. Deep Sage. And I'm just going to make the funny face and put that in my waterline. And I think that is it. Let me see. Yeah, they don't have a brighter color in here for my um, brows. So I think that's going to be it for the eyes. I'm going to put some mascara on. And I'm going to be using the Prime Lash Mascara from Prime Pro Metrics. I did do a bit of a video on this a while back. But Prime Pro, Met Pro Metrics is also a brand that caters to the more mature person. They have blushes, they have lipsticks, they have a, um, a essence. To me, that's like a, um, sort of micellar water thing, or I don't know if it's like um that or if it's a spray you want to be correct let's see yeah they have the mascaras they have 
eyeliners. They have a brow serum um, pigment wand. So you can use one for a bronzer. You can use one for a blush. They also have one that's for moisture. Um, and they have what they have the lipsticks and they have the the essence, which I was right. It's to me sort of along the lines of a micellar water, and it helps you remove your makeup. They also have a cleanser and I think an SPF. Yeah, they also have a um, SPF 40 sunscreen for mature women. So I am looking into getting more. But we are going to be using the mascara today. And I like how the, the, the brush is like a silicone brush and it is very bendy as you can see. So it doesn't like tug and like pull your lashes out, but it does grip and deposit the mascara onto the lashes. All right, and they call this a pro lash mascara, pro age mascara for mature women. And we'll put that there. Um, but it's also supposed to help to boost the growth of your lashes also. So we shall see, we shall see. But this is what my lashes are looking like. And I am done with the eyes. <clears throat> I have done the cheeks. And I think that I do want a little bit more going on with the cheek than what I, I have a bit of a glow from that, um, from that one in the hourglass palette but I want a little bit more pigment so I'm going to hit the um, house labs color fuse blush and I have it in acai sky I am afraid of this blush okay Not too bad. It didn't scare me too much. All right, so we shall put that back. And I completely forgot about what I want to put on my lips. I'll be right back. All right, so the last thing is also from House Labs. And it's the Le Monster Lip Crayon. And I have it in the shade Berry Matte. Is that upside down? <laughs> But that is what it looks like. I got this from BoxyCharm. But let me get some of this off of my lips. Because I do want sort of the matte effect of it. Oh. This is, you know, I have a couple of, I'm coming back to you all with beauty hacks. So I don't want to like say everything. Because that video is coming soon. All right. That is it, you all. This is this um, pencil comes off as matte, but it is super comfortable. It's not making my lips feel really dry right now. We'll see how it wears into the day. But that is it. I'm going to zoom out. I'll be right back. That is it, you all. I just wanted to come back and shortly say I just like felt compelled to discuss like redefining beauty on your own terms especially when you are 50 and older um, because there are a lot of stereotypes out there that need to be dispelled is that a word I think that's a word but anyway I just wanted to come on and talk about it during my Monday morning makeup 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you are already subscribed, please make sure you hit that notification bell when you hit, please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I have a new video coming out. Have a great day and don't let your day be a waste of makeup. Bye.